Good afternoon, Poe parents, or good morning, or good evening, whatever time it is when this video finds you, and I hope it does find you. This is Principal Dockery with something new, a video Ravens report. So let's get started. All right, second report cards were sent home today. Today is Tuesday, March, not March, February 13th, the day before Valentine's Day, Tuesday, February 13th, and report cards are sent home today. This means we're halfway through the school year. Based on the progress data we have so far from uh, grades and, uh, more importantly, MOY, NWA reports, each student in the coming weeks will meet with his or her teacher to develop uh, uh, goals and, more importantly, an action plan for achieving those goals for second semester. We need your help, too, so that to help implement the plans so that students can maximize their success this year. So look for that in the coming weeks. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day and one of our cheat days. Candy and treats are allowable within reason. Nothing with nuts, please. And please follow your students, your teachers' individual directions for passing out candy and treats and Valentine's. There will be a Valentine's dance for primary students, K-2 tomorrow, and for intermediate and upper on Friday. All right, we are making great progress with student fees, but we still have a long way to go based on what we received so far and the promises that everybody made to pay. This week we got started with art. Yay! So we will have art on Mondays and Fridays. All students will receive an art class Mondays and, or, or Fridays. And we even have one of those drop-in performances today. That's the bell, so it's time for dismissal. It's 4 o'clock. We have one of those drop-in performances, Steel Pan Drummers. Ask your students about those. It was fabulous. Please keep up the momentum with the student fees and make sure if you promise to pay, you actually do pay because we still have to fund Barrel of Monkeys, Ballroom Dancing, and all the other drop-in performances like Hula Dancing. All right. Uh, we're also making great pro progress on the big expansion. In fact, we are supposed to great break ground next week. I'm so excited that I can hardly get the words out. We're supposed to break ground next week. We thought it was going to be in the summer, but we got to get a hole in the ground before the next mayor takes over so it won't get cut. So it's going to start next week. I don't know the exact date and I don't know all the details yet, but I know there are going to be a lot of changes to our school operations. Uh, definitely with entry and exit because we won't have access to the south end of the building. We're going to have to commandeer the teacher's uh, parking lot uh, so kids can gather there uh, before and after school. That means teachers are going to have to park on the street. That means the construction workers are going to be parking on the street. The school buses and the vans are still there, so that means parking is going to be at a premium. We're certainly going to have to stagger uh, the exit times of the bus students so they can clear out before the parents come and pick up. We'll figure all that stuff out. I know it's going to be rough going. It's going to be a hassle, but it's going to be well worth it uh, as we move into this next phase, next exciting phase of our school's 114th year, 114 year history. Last and certainly not least, it's time for the fourth annual comedy show. This is another fundraiser, fun, F-U-N, raiser. But the proceeds go to the building fund. As I mentioned before, construction on the new school transformation starts next month, but the budget for that project is only for the new building and the rooms that are going to be touched in the old building. Uh, the rooms that are not going to be touched, it's up to us to transform those. So we want to buy new furniture and new technology for not only those classrooms. Oh, I'm on four minutes. I said this is not going to be... This is going to be under five, so I got, you know, 50 seconds left. So we need to raise some money, $100,000, $200,000, $250,000. We need to raise some money so that we won't have the old building versus the new building, the old space versus the new space. We want one continuous learning space. We want learning to flow outside the classrooms and into the hallways with couches and, and, and movable furniture. Kids need to move, kids need to be comfortable, kids need to be able to collaborate, and they need to do that all throughout the building. So we want to raise a lot of money in order to do that. Uh, but we need your help. Uh, starting with the fundraiser this Saturday, not this Saturday, next Saturday, February 13th at the Universal Entertainment Center, the fourth annual, let me get this up, the fourth annual 
comedy show. You know it's going to be great because Miss J is the host, and she's always the best comedian that we have. So please join us next Saturday at 2 o'clock at the uh, Universal Entertainment Center. Tickets are on sale now via Parent Square, via Eventbrite, via Mr. B. Uh, please help us out. Help us help your children. Again, everything is for them. Now I'm at 525. So let me end this. My first video, uh, Ravens Report. Uh, I hope you stay with me at least for the first two minutes. Uh, and you can always watch it later. Thank you and have a great evening.